guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl aiz in williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video Okay, guys, so yesterday was Perez's 37th birthday. Yes, guys, and his fans went all out for him. You know, they had this billboard um, for him in Lagos. They gave him lots of gifts, designer shoes, bag, wristwatches. They gave him money bouquets. They gave him 5 million naira cash, people of God. Hey, <laughs> 5 million naira cash. And they also gave him a check of 5 million naira, making it a total of 10 million naira. They also um, donated inhalers to him, you know, for him to give back to all the um, asthmatic patients and all that. His fans in Ghana did um, a donation to a hospital. Yes, guys, like it was super, super cute that even as they were doing stuff for him, they were also helping other people's lives, you know, because of him. That is really, really commendable. A very big, you know, well done to all the patriotic patriots, as they love to call themselves. And also last night they had their birthday dinner, which um his friends and also some of his ex big brother Niger housemates, you know, were there to celebrate him. Angel, Cross, Licarus, um, White Money, Michael, Prince of Lockdown Season, Esther from um Pepperdam Season, you know, they were all there. Nini, Saga was like the MC, you know, they were all there to celebrate Perry, and they all had beautiful things things you know to say about Pere and oh Uti was there Polo was there and I'm going to be adding um clips of some of the things they said about Pere at the end of this video once again a belated happy birthday to Pere now we are all looking forward to Cross's birthday which is next month yes guys now away from that people of God so early this morning our beloved actress Cha Cha A.K. Fanny yes guys was woke us up with the news of her marriage yes guys now i'm gonna read what she wrote then i'll tell you guys you know what i think about this and of course give you guys the background gist of why i think what i think about this whole situation so this is what she put out she said live now alive or live as a corpse many have died pretending all is well whilst wishing hoping and praying for a better tomorrow I don't want to die or go inexplicably missing. I sincerely and publicly apologize for living a lie this past year. True to random speculations, there has been trouble in my perceived paradise. For the second time in two years, I'm here again on social media, boldly declaring that I'm done with my marriage. My long overdue relentless stance on this is, of course, no news to Austin Fanny, the doctors and my parents. If push comes to shove and suddenly I'm incommunicado, my lawyers, the welfare department and the Nigerian police force have my testimonials in recorded video clips, statements set for public release all on social media apps and, nation and national newspapers, PS, old photo. Now, hmm, for those of you who are not familiar with the Chacha, AK and her husband's story, let me give you guys the background gist. So sometime, I think in 2020, you know, there was this whole um, fiasco that happened. Chacha was found in a public place looking not so nice. And, you know, everybody was like, oh, hope she's fine. Then the news got out that all is not well in her marriage. Even her brother, I remember at that point, tried to reach out to her. He even came on social media you know while all that was done chacha came out surprisingly and said that we all should stay off her marriage that she is good with her husband that she doesn't even like basically denied her brother yes guys and i remember i gave this just here and that was one of the reasons why i told myself you know what i'm not gonna be talking about people's marriages like that anymore but that hasn't stopped me Sha. anyways that was what happened and then some days later chacha came out with a publication that she's bipolar that she was not going through any marital problems or anything that we should just stay off her marriage and all that and they are living happily ever after just like cinderella and a lot of us were a bit skeptical because we we saw the, I mean, the writing on the wall and we refuse to believe it. But since it's not our marriage, even if it's your family member's marriage, it's not your obligation, you know, to step in. You don't overstep your boundaries when it comes to people's relationships. So that was how 
how her brother washed off his hands, public people, you know, so even some actresses like Georgina or no, her, I think at that point, even um, there's this other actress that were like, Chacha, speak up, you know? And at some point, everybody just got tired and that was it. And then they started posting loving of videos, pictures, you know, Instagram posts and everything, trying to let us know that all is well. Only for us to wake up to this this morning. And the question on my mind is why? Why did she feel the need to keep lying? Not even to the public, to herself. Because if all is not well to the extent she has testimonials with the police, you know, to release to public and she's saying, oh, if she goes in comunicado and all that, for it to get to that point and you're still lying, I don't understand that. Like, I have so many questions. Even as I have a lot of questions, I will not point any accusing finger at her. I will not blame her for anything, but... All I just want to do right now is to support her to get her out of this because this is not actually a time for, for people to be like, oh, I told you so, we knew it, now it has happened, blah, blah, blah. No, all I just want her is to get out of that situation and get her life back again. I mean, this is Chacha we used to know, one of the hottest babes in Hollywood at that time. And she got married and before we knew what was happening, she just fizzled out. Like, I really want her to come back again. I want her to live her life again. I don't even want to like go back to what happened or anything. Thank God she has come out. She's seen the light and I just want her to be happy, live her life with her kids. Basically, that's what I think about this whole situation. What you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section. Now on that note, I say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Nee Williams. Have yourself a beautiful Beautiful, wonderful day ahead. First of all, I remember not liking you. Not like deep, like rooted, just like, but just like, I can't figure out this guy. This like, and well, coming outside of the house, I, you know, got to experience you as a person. And then, I mean, like in the house, obviously, we're under like a lot of pressure. So people are, you know, like emotions are heightened, basically. So coming out of the house, you know, I met someone that was so sweet and caring. I mean, I saw that side of, of you in the house sometimes. That's why I never nominated you. I should have. <laughs> why do you say you should have? Because he used to get on my fucking nerves. But like, like I said, I just could not figure him out. And Perry, honestly, like experiencing you at the time of or like outside the house experience has it's strong word. You know that's experience is a strong word. Wait. Getting to know my getting to know you outside of the house has been an amazing experience. You're sweet and you're kind natured and you have a good heart and you know do your random check-in, see my see, and I think you are an amazing person, and I'm wishing you love and prosperity and money and all the other things that you wish for yourself, and it's always going to be love from this side, because I found a brother in you all the same way. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. So.
came to me and then we were speaking, so he just came. He was like, Nini, this is what Captain what's your experience? I'm taking the entire atmosphere. He brought like how many stuff he had. And you know, before he has conversation with you, so he probably has it all planned. He was, was the one that was going around saying that he has brought really small stuff. That he did. And you that know, was good of us now. He yeah, was good of us actually. He brought, he did bring sleepers. I feel like before he comes to have a conversation <laughs> with you, because it's well talked about, he knows what he wants to say, he knows how to convince you. And I think he's a very smart and intelligent man for that. Yeah. And the parent knows when to stop. And then he knows when he's getting too much and he needs to like chill. And it's been almost like it's gonna be like a year very soon next year month. It's gonna be a year till we you know cross part. And I won't lie to you, if not be brother, I don't think we would have crossed part. I wouldn't have because I've looked at you know your circle of friends and I've looked at mine. I, I, I couldn't you know see how we could to be brother major happen. And the funny thing that is that we're gonna be brothers for life. And You know what you want and you go for it. I think it's the military, as white money always said, like that military background that you have, like it really played a lot in you because I have a friend too, he's a military guy, you amazing kids. And what if you don't want to marry? Well, I pray you find a baby mama. <laughs> that will understand you. Yes, it's very important these days. So have a baby mama is important. I'm not gonna have a useless baby mama. If I'm there, you go find. Because I cannot have a useless uh, nephew. So you have to have a very, very important baby mama. So that we go. Oh yeah, that's it, man. Happy birthday. Let me show you first. Oh, this is the best speech ever. Exactly. <laughs> Let's finish the matter right now. Well, now it's, yeah. why would you study the very city? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's a chapter that needed to happen for this to happen. Right. right. Yeah, so, where I, um, I remember I told you that when you come out of the house, you're going to be good friends. Right. I told you that we're going to become very close. It's something that I foresaw that I don't care. It's just men, ego, and bruising. You understand? It's not even that. But behind everything, we know that we are all men. And men, real men, what they do is that they don't fight with their fist. But then they fight with their mouth. They fight with wisdom. So you're a very wise man. Same as my surprised honestly when I or when you were asked the question who was your favorite ten in the house I think I was in which country and he said I was the number two after the idiots so I was shocked when they sent it to me they're like yo can is number two uh favorite person I'm like really why that touched me that never me because I know that it's one thing to have a fallout with somebody that I don't even understand that this is personal. And, and as far as I'm concerned, you've always been consistent and you've been there. And even before you came into the Big Brother's house, you've been doing great things for yourself. Like, I never knew you were that big with this guy, I swear. So, yeah, I was already admiring you for your military uh, background and then movies as well. Oh, my love, I was like this. <laughs> I was saying that the, the, the fall that we had, you know, propelled this amazing time. And I thought that we were going to be good friends. And friends. The first time I walked into the house, I knew you were a real one. You know? At that point in time, everything was polarizing. You know? Some people liked you, some people hated your guts. The whole time, I could, I could tell, man, you had, you had a lot going on. And like I told you, the biggest lesson that you, you taught me, you didn't have to say a word. You know, the biggest lesson that you taught me was composure. You understand, like how to, you know, sit back, analyze in a very tactical manner. You understand, and I really appreciate that because. I'll hold that with me for the rest of my life, you understand? It's an intangible thing that you deposited in my life and I do appreciate that. And it's crazy, man. Like, from where we started to where we are now, honestly, you've become a big brother to me, man. 
in, in a very real way. You, are, you already know what I'm talking about, you understand? And I appreciate you, man. I'll keep it short and sweet. More life to you, my brother. More decades of shining. You yeah. get everything you want in life, man. More smiles. Amen. More reasons to be happy, you understand? Much respect, man. Thank you so much. Rosé. Okay, I <laughs> I was inducted <laughs> by this one car. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he became a what? What is she? The cross. <laughs> you know, they are so protective of me until like. You know, I'm Perry. You know, I, I love you so much. My Perry Winkle, you still the bees out? Oh yeah. No, hell no. Perry wants to You are amazing. Bend over, he doesn't stomp, he doesn't roll over for no one. He does his thing. Perry has literally saved my life once. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I will never forget that. I'm always grateful for that. And I know that our friendship was kind of rough towards the end of the show, but it's normal thing in friendship when things happen. And then we've been able to talk about it. You know, I'm very proud to have you in my corner. My bro, you're a real one. You're my best man. You know the vibes. You know the things we plan to do together now? Mm -hmm. We're still working on it, right? Yes. yes. And then you're my vain brother. Vain? How can I forget that? I'll uh, push us before we move back. Do you guys know? Yeah, I said, we didn't miss sound. We didn't really miss sound. And Michael, too, was there? No, it was between the two of us. Right, right, right. <laughs> so right. then it's just like, ah, our chest is flat. Let's go and do push ups. <laughs> you know, so I'm very happy to have you. And I wish you the very best. Thank you. Thank you, man. Hey, hey. All right, so I want to be...